Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech. Today we're checking out the ThinkBook 15 IIL unit. Now let's have a look at what we got on the side. We got two USB-Cs. We got a headset. A Oh, geez, it's interesting. They got the, the secure reset button. So if you want to get into the uh, special options, you can get in there. And HDMI, Cat5. <clears throat> I'm glad they're bringing those things back. USB. Got a second USB here, third USB right here. Really interesting right there. It's a special type USB that you plug in your wireless mouse. And then away you go. I bet they thought Bluetooth mice would have taken over by now, but they don't seem to have. SD card, once again, USB power lock area. Now, it feels really nice. It feels really metally. You can probably hear me drag my finger across there. Now here, definitely plastic. It looks like to get into it, we got a lot of screws, no easy way in, but at least uh, it's not too difficult to get into. I've cracked these suckers open before. Really cool, metallic, plasticky, metallic kind of feel. I forget the word for it, but it definitely sounds kind of plasticky. We got our click click down here. No mouse trackpad you'll find. That's just the way she goes though. You also you got your fingerprint scanner. Keyboard flex. I don't even know why anyone cares about keyboard flex, but it flexes a little bit. It flexes a little bit. And we got bezel. I don't know who actually cares about bezels, but some people do. And of course, interestingly enough, we have the camera lock and unlock so that the FBI can't see what you're doing so much, but at the same time, they can still hear what you're doing through the microphone. You've only disabled the camera, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so next up, let's just get into it. Let's get into a look at the speed that we can pull down with this unit. So while the case looks really slick, we are kind of running off the basics. Uh, we got eight gigabytes of RAM. We have eight cores running at one point one one gigahertz. I'm just amazed. One gigahertz. I mean, uh, there's eight cores, so it's good, but still one gigahertz. Man, that just seems so low. Intel UHD graphics. Let's throw a benchmark at this sucker and see what we can get out of it. Now, another thing a lot of people are always interested in is how well does it hold up to light? Well, let's say this is the sun. It's definitely not the best. It definitely has a bit of an acid finish on it, which makes it good in uh, in certain scenes. But still, I really don't think any laptop is made to be outside. Laptops should be in people's basements, never actually taken into the light. All right, Passmark 3D Mark, we have uh, DirectX 9 going at about 27 frames per second. It's about normal. We got DirectX 10 running capably at uh, about 8 frames per second. Here we have DirectX 11 operating at 20 frames per second. Not so bad, not so bad. And for those of you concerned about sunlight, and here we get a little sunlight over here in the corner for you. And here we got a little bit of Direct X12. Just to get a bit of an idea of how warm she's getting. Here's a slightly better view. And there's my hand, just for scale. So Grand Theft Auto only plays in mini screen mode, but I'm thinking I'm getting about 60 frames per second on this, so not so bad. It's very responsive. I've had issues in the past with this game uh, on slow enough units just not being uh, responsive enough. But this is definitely responsive. This is, uh, this is pretty good. I'm not complaining here. But at the same time, this is not a gaming laptop, let's face it. So this unit definitely wasn't the easiest to get off. I had a whole lot of Phillips head screws and they weren't the type that keep inside the plastic board. But as we get into it, we can see pretty quickly. It looked like there was supposed to be a GPU right here. This would be where the CPU is and the GPU is right here. And then the heat pipe takes it up here, of course, the fan. 
blows it out. Looks like the fan that we got has uh, not much area between the blades. Of course, that probably cools things off quicker, but I wonder if it gets dust caught in it more also. We have an expansion bay for a SATA type SSD, or I guess hard disk drive if you prefer. Over here, I believe this is where the RAM is, so it looks like we cannot upgrade the RAM. That's it, that's all, folks. And right here, we have the space for the M2 card. I believe that's NVMe. I believe that's NVMe. And right here, we have the battery. Yeah, not as big as I thought it would be. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech. But like and subscribe if you like this stuff. I've helped you out. And have a good one. Take care of each other.